guys today i'm going to show you how to insert data in data table in c sharp go to the toolbox and drag the level control change the text of this level id text is id and resize the level 8.25210 8.25 is so short uh, size that's why minimum 10 it will be display it will display it perfectly on the screen I just copy and paste a four level because I will uh, insert in the data table four column change the level text name first one is ID second one is name and third one is uh, address and fourth one is is now take full text box from the toolbox just a drag and drop research the text box from 8.25 to 12 12 is sufficient for the text box just copy the text box and paste just uh, create four text box for ID, name, address, age. The text box name is text box 1, 2, 3, 4. Now take a button control from the toolbox. Go to the toolbox and take a button control. Sorry, uh, first of all, I take a, I take a detective view. Then I will take a button control. After inserting the data in the data table, the data will display in the data grid view. Change the data grid view font from the default select in the property window. Now take a button control. This is the button. Change the button text insert. When I click in the button, the data will insert in the data table and it will automatically display in the data grid view. Oh, I just changed the back color of this button. I'll double click in the form load event. Here, first of all, in this code, if you don't write comment, the code will not be perfect and nobody can understand the, about the code. First of all, declare a data table. How to declare? Just write data table dt equal to new data table. Now add column. To add add column, just create a method. How many column you wanna create in the data table? Void add column. Name a method. You can name. You can uh, put any name of this method. I just uh, I just named it add column. You think I think you remember that uh, I uh, I just create four text box so i will add four column in the data table dt i just copy it and paste to reducing time id second column is name third column is address and fourth column is age now this, you should call this method in the load event when the fish load the method will load uh, that in the data table already exist four column that's why i just call the method add column in the form load event from load event is when you load this form what event occur this is the load event call the method in load event form load event add column okay our first job is done 
now the second job i already create the i already declared data table and create add column according to the uh, data table now i will write code to insert record in the data table to insert record first of all i have to declare a data row data row is r data row r equal to new data row data row r uh, only uh, data row r is not uh, perfect you should uh, write data row r equal to new data row see that in the below the r it will display an error to rectify this error you should write okay data row r equal to new row r0 r0 zero, zero is the index of the column index of the column remember that zero is the in the row row zero and column index is row in the row column index is zero tag box one you know the tag box one is id tag box two is name tag box three is address tag box four is age and uh, column one is id column two is uh, name address and age as usual row uh, row 0 column 1 0 1 2 3 is the index of the column remember that is the index of the column again i told you dt dot rows dot add r finally r will add as row after inserting the data in the data table i will show the data in the data grid view guys if you think my video is helpful please subscribe for upcoming video and i'll upload more video in c sharp and asp.net sql server and android studio frequently so help me by commenting if you don't understand anything don't hesitate to comment i will reply i will highly try to reply you comment okay to display in data grid view i just write just to write equal data grid view dot data source equal to dt dt is your data table dt dot row z or after or after adding row okay guys in the program dot cs i put the other uh, other form now i change it as form 2 what I work, what I have done, my job. Okay, instead of entire table, now just fill the form with ID, name, address, age. ID 1, name, address, address, age. Address, USA. Address, am I just put in a name? You can change any name. This is for test, that's why I, d I didn't consult so too much about name and address. Like you can see, it's insert now. I'm gonna show you how to delete data from data grid view. To perform it, click on the cell click event. Double click on the cell click event. This is the cell click event. In this event, I will show I will show how to delete data from data grid view. Click data grid view on dot rows remove data grid view on dot selected row zero dot index zero is the row index. What row you select, it will delete from the data grid view. Just fill the form one m y y whatever you want, you can insert. Just uh, click on the insert, it's inserted. I just put three call three rows. I just insert three rows. Now see in the cell click. Oh, sorry, it displays an error index. Uh, if I if I want to erase the error, I can. But I don't want. Uh, I don't want. You you also face this problem. That's why. And the uh, the uh, viewer who uh, who see this video, you can uh, if you face this problem, how to solve it? That's why I 
I, I did not rectify the I did not erase the error I just rectify and I want to teach you how to rectify this error that's why I <laughs> don't mind please uh, now see that to uh, rectify the error you just uh, put the code above this above the uh, first code just select you should select you should uh, mention a code for select okay guys uh, insert to two or three rows three rows to uh, just inserting three or two rows for testing one as on usa is uh, 23 okay insert one more row then i will show okay well, now just click on the cell then it will delete oh fine now just click on the cell it's deleted <laughs> finally i will success don't mind for this error this is the cell click event just write the code at current row or selected 